Every day I wake up in Stardew Valley, I spin a wheel that decides exactly what I'm going to do or what I'm going to get. Will this challenge help or hinder my farm's progression? Let's find out. The first spin of the challenge was a fortunate one, clearing the farm. Albeit underwhelming, this task was vital for creating space and preparing for the following days. Next spin granted me 100 gold, which certainly didn't hurt. Day 3 spin was to fish in a lake, so I went over to Willy to get my bamboo pole and fished at the mountain lake until I was drained of my energy. The next spin rewarded us with instant catch for the day. With that lucky power up, I headed down to the beach and fished up a handful of iridium quality sea life. I got to level 2, 3, and 4 fishing, and made some decent money. On day 5, I was tasked with building a mill. To make this challenge a bit more exciting, upgrades go a bit smoother. That way we're able to develop our land freely, per the wheel's instruction. Another spin, another building, and a hefty one at that. No animals yet, though. In a surprise twist, I was forced to blow all my not-so-hard-earned gold on the traveling cart of all places. So I bought a few seeds for the future and a houseplant. Day 8 spin advised a stable, arguably one of the greatest upgrades one could receive. Next up was another clearing the farm day, and a naming our horse day. Of course I had to name it after the good fortune by which it was brought to me. Day 10 was the exhilarating prospect of waste waiting in trash adjacent to those I've never spoken to. Finally, on day 11, I was sent to buy our first crop, the Jazz Flower. Now this farm's beginning to look a lot more like a farm. Next was building a well, which I placed next to my flower seeds for easy access. By a remarkable stroke of luck, I landed on the 1 million gold space, which, as you may have guessed, paid us 1 million gold. What I was going to do with it, I didn't yet know. The egg festival came and went as usual, and to no one's surprise, I triumphed. Day 15, I was told to stop being a lonely hermit. A smaller wheel directed me to Dr. Harvey's establishment, where I promptly threw flowers into his face until he agreed to be my boyfriend. The next spin was our next crop, green beans, so I planted as many as I could reasonably water. But even though I was cognizant of my cash, the following spin ordered me to spend all of my money at Pierre's. I purchased all the backpack upgrades, several crops, and as many tree saplings as I could stuff into my marginally larger pockets. The farm was looking very farmy indeed, and my catalog produced fitting decor for the house. To match my deluxe farm, I got a coop. For my non-existent animals, hopefully I would be getting soon. Day 22's spin left us with a fish pond, which is fantastic, but we can't do better. By day 24, I was conclusively commanded to cultivate the community center. The option for Jojo was on the wheel, but I dodged it by a tick, so I donated as much as I had to offer. Luckily, chickens were sent to me from above to fill the coop. Now I wasn't the only chick on the farm. I hadn't yet been to the mines, but with one hit kill, when was there a better time to start? Even with my newfound aptitude, I ran out of energy on floor 7 and had to return. On the first day of summer, I got lamps. They illuminated the farm brilliantly and looked radiant. Day 4, I was awarded with infinite stamina, which meant clearing the way for whatever developments at the farm yet to arrive. Speaking of developments, I landed on the million again. And my farming level rose. I was hoping for an opportunity to decorate the farm further and was allowed to assemble fences and paths. The first crop of summer was my personal favorite, blueberries! I planted them beside the new scarecrow defenses. Day 9 was the ever-coveted house upgrade. Even more space for me to be alone and spin my wheel. Thank goodness for the silo, my chickens were getting feisty. Not murder me in my sleep feisty, but we were getting there. Another house upgrade went underway and it reminded me just how companionless I was. I went to the luau and my boyfriend Harvey did not alleviate my worries. But at least I made a good soup. The wheel landed on sprinklers, thankfully so, since my watering can was becoming tedious. More crops for the farm, and we all know how much I love flowers in this game. 
on day 14, I finally got the animals for the barn I'd acquired in the first few days. Goats, cows, sheep, and pigs were now part of my happy family. In a pleasant change of pace, I was to be married to Harvey. The wedding was lovely, though to my chagrin, the wheel itself did not attend. We fostered a fine farm while using a wheel to dictate the direction. Overall, it was a fun new spin on Stardew. Thanks for watching and thanks for 500 subscribers! I appreciate you all. Until next time!